Hello and welcome to the wonderful world of peat bogs. As well as being fantastic and important places for wildlife, we humans have been using peat bogs for thousands of years and hopefully in this day they can help us combat climate change. I'm considering blanket bog today which is, uh, occurs in the uplands not just of the National Park but much of Scotland, you can see particularly on the west coast and a functioning a healthy peat bog ecosystem can capture and store a lot of carbon in the form of a soil called peat. If that ecosystem isn't working so well, the bog can actually release carbon back into the environment. And I've got a wee experiment here today that will, fingers crossed, hopefully demonstrate that to you. But what is a healthy peat bog? Well, it's this shaggy mop of vegetation growing out of this soaking wet soil called peat. The most important uh, plant is probably sphagnum moss, but I'll leave that for you to find out more about. So here's my experiment. We've got two peat bogs in a bottle, one not very good health, the one below with a lot of mud and the one with a lot of moss on it, the one in good health. I'm going to pour the rainwater onto each of these in turn and uh, then we'll see what collects in the buckets below. So I guess these buckets represent the locks, uh, the sea where the, the, the water eventually comes from upwards to the lowlands. So in a minute I'm going to ask you to hit the pause button because I want you to think and then make a prediction about what you'll see uh, at the end of this experiment. Okay, pause. You're back. Here we go. Very sophisticated rain this. Oops. So what we should have at the end of this experiment, is this what you predicted? Is the poor bog has a lot of dirty water, that's where this peat has been washed off the, the peat bog and into the wider environment. Whereas the peat bog in good health, the water is A, cleaner, so therefore the, we're not getting the carbon released in the environment, and secondly, there's actually less water. So that means the uplands are storing water and slowing it down as it goes into the lowlands. Again, important for um, climate change. Now, if you want to know how to do this experiment and others at home, please knit over to the Lockdown Learning Hub. Thank you.